Time is omnipresent. It wakes us in the morning, gets us to work on time most days, and runs our mobile devices and our stock markets. But how can we make sure all of these clocks are on time? Exact time, to be precise. There's a lab in Ottawa where you can find Canada's official timekeepers. It's from this building that the official time signal is broadcast. It sounds like this. MRC, Eastern Standard Time, 11 hours, 56 minutes, and 10 seconds. Here's a rare behind-the-scenes look at how Canada's time is kept. So what does a timekeeper actually do? So we do maintain uh, atomic clocks to provide the most accurate time and uh, we make sure to uh, disseminate it to all our customers. Uh, accurate time is very important uh, because it's used in uh, all the electronic devices, uh, uh, the GPS system and uh, telecommunications for example. So how is time actually kept? I see there are a lot of devices behind you, there are clocks, there are more than one clock, right? That's right, there are actually uh, about a dozen of clocks uh, and all their signals are sent up here in this control room and the signals are compared with all these electronic circuits and digitized and uh, the time differences are recorded uh, numerically on uh, the screen. Uh, then uh, once we have all these numbers, we can, there's an algorithm that can be used to uh, calculate a uh, very stable time, which makes this the official Canadian time. So how precise can you say we are on time? Uh, each atomic clock varies uh, by, by, by a few nanoseconds. Uh, and then when we calculate the average uh, taken over a period of one year, for example, uh, the difference won't be larger than about uh, one mi uh, microsecond. So you're talking about cesium atomic clock. So what is that? That's right, so uh, it's called an atomic clock because it uses atoms and uh, the atoms are specifically cesium, uh, which are used for the definition of the second. And I heard there uh, is a rumor that there's a clock here in a copper box or something like that? Yes, so we have a, an older clock in a copper room which uh, needs to be placed there because it's a very sensitive clock. It doesn't really look like a traditional clock. Well, more precisely, it's, let's say, the internal me mechanism of a clock. Uh, essentially, that's where the uh, oscillations of the cesium atoms are measured. So at this end, you have the source of cesium atoms, which travel all along the tube, and the various electronics, which are measuring those oscillations, and at the end, the signal comes and controls the, the electronics and generate uh, the second signal. So I've always been fascinated at what actually happens here in this lab when we change time. So uh, we don't actually uh, touch the atomic clocks, but we do change the time we broadcast to uh, our customers. So uh, in, the, in the fall, uh, the clocks are set back and in the spring, they're set one hour forward uh, on uh, the early Sunday morning. One thing you can be sure of is that timekeepers will keep working around the clock because time never stops.